We want to get Gresham in. You need to apologize to him. Apologize for what, sir? I was trying to stop that girl from bleeding to death. I shoved him. I didn't punch him. We know you didn't. It's restorative justice, Callum. It could save your job. With respect, sir, I'd be apologising for doing my job. Callum, we've got a morale issue. You think I don't know what they're saying about me on the beat? I want to set the team straight that we're all on the same side here, but you getting shafted by the DPS isn't going to help that, is it? The science were up, sir, but we've got a missing child. How old? A uh, four-year-old boy in name of Billy Sullivan disappeared from the back garden at 26 Lensford Way in the last 15 minutes. But, OK, you get down there and start the door-to-door, -door, but keep the scene clear for forensics, and you'll have every available uniform in 15 minutes, Roger. I'll lay as you say I do. I'm oh, sorry, Callum. This is going to have to wait. What's the number again? 26. Is it? Yep. Mr. Sullivan? Yeah, through here. It's my boy. Yeah, we've been given some details. Um, I tell you what we need is your wife's address, just in case Billy's headed there. Fallon Street, 44B Fallon Street. I used to live there too. Okay. You tell me what he was wearing? Uh, Tracksuit bottoms, little denim jacket. I was just doing him a sandwich. I looked out and he was gone. I ran round the block, but he, he's four years old, for God's sake. Was this already open? No, it was bolted shut, but it was wide open when I came out. Front door? Double locked. Someone's taken him, haven't they? We can't be sure of that yet, sir. Just keep looking, yeah? Mm. I don't know if there's some agenda that I'm not privy to. It's selling me out to keep the police, telling me to lie. That's the agenda. Hey! Sarge? Everything all right? Yeah, all cool. Okay. Go and grab yourself a cup of coffee across the road. I'll catch up with you as soon as I can. This is Billy two months ago. Jenny's got the rest. She only lets me see him Wednesdays. All right, okay. People would phone you, wouldn't they? A little kid on his own. Yeah, yeah it does happen, sir. And we're going to be interviewing everyone locally. Can I have after station down in a minute? His name's Billy Sullivan. He's been missing for nearly an hour. Ground search is underway. Worst case, Banksy. We're going to need PPU data on all the local paedophiles and sex offenders. We'll also run a check on both the parents and the boyfriend, Mike Stratton. Sir. So. Joe's acting as FLO. She's on her way down there now. Smithy, we need to get Ray Sullivan in. Also, I want to get a press conference up and running ASAP. Leon says that obviously things are very raw between Mr and Mrs Sullivan, but we're going to have to persuade them to sit down together and face the cameras. OK, thanks. You got here in record time, Lisa? Got everything in place that you need. All these things come together very quickly. We're geared up for it. Just be careful with the press. They like to feel that you're working with them. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. I saw Sergeant Stone downstairs. Federation meeting. Well, I think he has a right to representation. Yeah, of course. Mr. Sullivan. Yeah? What's going on? Who is it? It's about your son. What is it? Excuse me, madam. Just wondering if I could have a minute. Looking for this boy. Excuse me, sir. Madam, just wondering if I could have a minute of your time. Oh, thank you very much for your time. Listen, the house just on the corner. Sir, oh, madam, just, just, I could just have a moment of your time, please. We're looking for a little boy who's gone missing in the area. Do you know? Can I ask you if you've seen this little boy? I wonder if he can help me out. That is new to the area, any vehicles that you don't recognise? No. 
All right, we need to think of anything that's nice. Yeah, she's Thanks, horrible. Um, is that a lady in the purple coat? Um, she might know something. I mean, she's always out and about. Thanks a lot. Excuse me, madam. Yeah. Just wondering if I can have a moment of your time. Yeah, of course, love. Are you? You're you're looking for or something? Yeah, yeah. Have you heard? Hey, got anything? Hi, Sarge. Right, Leon. Ray's just in the living room. Hello, my name's Sergeant Joe Masters. I'm really sorry for what you're going through. I'm going to be your family liaison officer, yours and your wife's, OK? So I'll be your first point of contact with Sunhill Station. You'll know what I know, and any questions you have, I'll be here or on the end of a phone to answer them. All right? We're putting together a press conference, and it would really help us if you'd be involved. What if he comes back and I'm not here? Someone will be here, sir, but we need you and your wife to make a public appeal. Oh, God. What's she going to say? Thank yeah. you very much. Okay, you very helpful. Dad, it's all right, Dad. Cyril's from 705. Go ahead, 795. We've got a possible sign of the abduction gov on Mellingham Street. Thank you. Got that. Mellingham Street's 100 yards away from where Billy was taken. Here we go. It looks like we've got him here, sir. The kid's carrying a robot. The bloke's got a boost to see, so he didn't want to risk getting caught with an unsecured child in the back. Well, that plate's registered to a car that was scrapped three weeks ago. He knows exactly what he's doing. This is a well-planned abduction. That little boy could be long gone. Is there anything about him you recognise? Why is he just going with him? Why is it something? Mr Sullivan didn't recognise him either. Sullivan, this uh, press conference, I'm sorry to be blunt, but it's better for the sympathy vote if you appear as a family unit. I don't care, I'll do anything. So what's the routine when Billy comes to yours? Is it always Wednesdays? Yeah, boyfriend's day off. He runs the veg stall at some market. I think he was Prime Minister the way she... Billy's at play school the other days. What do you do together? We go to the park, the play centre, feed the ducks. We always have a great time. She never asks. I think it's difficult between you and a wife. Yeah. So what about the rest of the week? Is there any way you go as a routine, you know, where you could be watched? We go to the park on the estate. That and the shops. Ray goes all over the place with him. Always makes a big point about telling me, trying to prove how great a daddy is now. Look, how do you know he has near Billy somewhere? We'll investigate every angle, Jenny. Don't worry. You OK, sir? I don't want to upset you. I've seen Ray parked out the front of Jenny's house when I've been round there a couple of times. Excuse me. Thanks, sir. Mike Stratton says you've been parked outside your wife's house. I was keeping an eye on Jenny. I miss her. I miss my son. So you park up and watch the house? But I had nothing to do with this. OK. It's time for the press conference. You ready? Straight to the left. Jenny. Let this happen. I'm not going to get him back. Jenny, we're doing everything that we can. Anytime you want to start, don't be afraid to say so, because these things can be very stressful. Commander, 
Mr. Sullivan, this is Commander Kennedy. Mrs. Sullivan, we're doing everything we can to find your son. Thank you. Okay. Leave it to it. Mom. Jenny, how are you feeling? Okay. Can sit over here, right? Sit here, Jen. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Billy Sullivan is four years old. At approximately 10.30 this morning, he was abducted from the back garden of a house on Lensford Way, Canley, and taken to a waiting car. This is a video image of a man we believe to be around six foot tall and a dark green Volvo car. Now, if anybody has any information, could they please contact Crime Stoppers on 0800 travel 5 travel 1. This is Jenny and Ray. They're Billy's parents, and they'd like to read a statement. Jenny. I just want to ask whoever's got Billy to please just... Imagine how he feels away from his mum and... Whoever's got Billy... You can do a really good thing here. Just give us back our little boy. He needs to be back with his mum. Please. I'd now like to show you some home video footage of Billy. Right, it's Christmas 2009. It's Christmas 2009. At 44B Fallon Street in the Sullivan household. And Santa's been. Should we take it downstairs? Yeah. Oh, cool. Thank you, Santa. I love you. We'd greatly appreciate it if you could publicise this as much as possible. Thank you. Okay, Jenny, well done. Well done, right? Okay. Come. You're right. Peachy. Your phone. Listen, we've got photographs of possible suspects for all three of you to look at. Why don't you two come through first? If you can hang on here for a minute, Mr. Sullivan, yeah? Tell me they're doing something. Well, they are. I'm, I'm sure they are. I'm just stuck here. I want to help, you know. He's going to be asking for me. Sarge? Would you excuse me? London Salvage Yard. Chris Lord? Yeah. DC Banks, this is DS Moss, Sam Hill CID. Can we word in the office, please? Well, let me guess. Brake shot, sirens naggered. Give you 100 quid for it. Mr. Lord, this morning a four year old boy was abducted in a car that was bearing plates that were registered to a vehicle that was scrapped in this yard. Right, OK, that's not so good. No. Have you had a break in recently? No, there's barbed wire up, Harry's dog in the yard. Nasty little git, he earns his key. What about security camera? Yeah, the monitor's in the office. OK. This is it, Wednesday evening. It's my lad, Danny. I've seen the business. You just forward it. Your son again. Okay. 
Gov, we've got an idea of the guy who bought the scrap plates. Go on. Yeah, his name's Peter Grigson. No date of birth, but mid-30s, we reckon. Leon, I want the current address for Peter Grigson. Date of birth, early to mid-70s. Go on, Stephen. Yeah, he bought them off a guy called Danny Lord at the Castle Arms pub. No, OK, I'll send someone down there to pick the CCTV up. OK, we've got two Peter Grigsons in the borough. First one, retired. Second one, date of birth, 1973. Last known address, 48 Marple Street. Right, 48 Marple Street, Stevie. And he was cautioned three months ago for a domestic incident. The neighbours called it in, but the wife didn't want to make a formal charge. They've since separated, OK? Got it. We'll check it out. Thanks, Gov. Yeah, I've got an address somewhere. What do you want to ask him about? The whereabouts of a small boy he was seen with this morning. His name's Billy Sullivan. He's four years old. We've got CCTV footage of Peter Grigson putting him into his car. Mm. How long is it since you've seen your husband? A couple of months. May I ask why I moved out? What's the difference is? He was cautioned three months ago. For a domestic incident? Yeah. We were rowing our next door neighbourhood. Was he violent towards you? No, we just used to fight a lot. This morning, your husband abducted a four year old child. We need to know everything you do. Three months ago, friends of ours needed their little boy picking up and taking home. Well, I was out, so Peter went and fetched him. Our friends came home earlier than they said they would, and Peter was giving their son a bath. He said he got muddy. That was it. Just kind of clicked in my head then, so I asked him to leave. Why didn't anyone report the incident with the bath? There was no proof he was doing anything wrong. And who wants people to know that they let their son get... It's just not that easy. I said I wanted custody, and he didn't argue. Do you have a photo of him? family we must be going through I should have said something I'm so sorry thanks this is a joke Roger Skip looks happy free teeth please Madge you know Smithy told him to lie down for that long I think we made inspectors really gone to his head Look, Commander Kennedy isn't going to want this on her desk. She's going to be putting pressure on the super and on Smithy. Well, that's news, is it? Crap rolls downhill, Roger. What I'm saying is that maybe Smithy's under pressure to push you so hard that you'll resign. At least if the inspector isn't behind us. We know that Stone's always got our back. Exactly. Unit suspect for the Billy Sullivan abduction is believed to be at 4 Delta Filbert Road. Sierra Oscar 5 are en route to require it. Finish up the paperwork and leave it on my tray on the way out, yeah? That's it. Oh, Sarge, please, just forget about who's pointing the finger at you, yeah? What this comes down to is, do you want to keep your job? Because I don't know whose side Smith is on, and I'm not about to ask him. Right, you look around the back. Mr. Grigson, it's the police! Right, I right Well, it was a long show. We've got the techies interrogating his computer, we've got uniform interviewing the neighbours, and we're getting local CCTV. We've got two possible signs Hesker Street Market and Whereabouts Shopping Centre, but no joint. Hoax calls. So, what now? Sir, you need to see this. Turned up at the castle arms once Danny Lord left. Ray Sullivan having a drink with Peter Grigson. We 
return now to a story we broke in our earlier bulletin. Police from Canley in East no, London no, no. have appealed to the public yeah. for help Thanks, to find a missing four-year-old boy. What? Billy Sullivan was what snatched from the back. We haven't got him, Jenny, but we think we know who has. A man called Peter Grigson. Does that name mean anything to you? No. He's got Billy. You know who he is? OK, there's something you need to know, Jenny. My colleagues have got CCTV footage from a pub called the Castle Arms. It shows Ray and Peter Grigson having a conversation together. Did he do this? I said he could have done we something We don't have like any this. proof that your husband's involved, but there's a possibility that that's how Peter Grigson has got to Billy. Are you saying Billy's all right? Ray knows where he is? We don't know. We're still trying to work out what's happened, but there could be an element of manipulation. What does that mean? There was an allegation made against Peter Grigson. Children. Oh, God. Well, get his name out there. Tell people. We can't do that, Jenny. You put us on the telly. Put that bastard's face on the telly and all. He's got my son. There could be a lynch mob. So what? We can't do it. Peter Grigson might panic. Billy might end up getting hurt. Jenny. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone, all right? So tell me about Grigson. 35, married with two daughters. Although recently separated after he was found giving the little boy a bath. No previous, but personal issues within the marriage convinced the wife that the incident wasn't a misunderstanding. He knew what he was doing. According to the wife, he's been fighting his demons for a long time. Excuse me, Mum. Sir, we got the results from Grigson's hard drive. Still images of child abuse. JPEGs is downloaded. Doesn't look like he's tried to disguise them at all. Arrogance? Well, because he's new to it. Well, there's also footage of Billy Sullivan outside his mum's house. Thanks. Also, sir, we've located Ray. Banksy and I are going to go and pick him up now. OK, Stephen. Thanks. To act has been pledged, but the ability to deliver is still under question. Sergeant. We're going to break from that story to return live to Canley in East London. His name is Peter Grigson. He has my son. He's got my Billy and the police have film of him. I want everyone to see that film. Someone's got to know where he is. Peter Grigson. His name is Peter Grigson. Get out of jail. This could make Grigson go to ground. He might hurt the child in a panic to get away with this. Yeah, I know, Mum. Find out what's happened. Make sure this footage doesn't go out again. Keep it away from the press. Yes, sir. What's Sullivan doing? Put him in for questioning. He's a suspect. That's ridiculous. He's not involved. Callum, you've got a minute. This case has got nothing to do with you. There are things about this that you just don't know about. All right, but you're getting it wrong. Really? What, you formed civilians of us, have you? That we've got video footage of him with the kidnapper, all right? Doing what? Sitting in a pub, him filling them in about his son. Well, has Grigson got kids? Now, oh, come on, has he got kids? <sighs> yeah. Well, they are. They're talking about them. That's what parents do. Sullivan knows a lot more about what went on between him and Grigson than you do. You have to ask him, treat him like a suspect, he'll clam up. He is a suspect. Smithy, I saw him outside. He was in pieces. The thought that something might have happened to his little boy. Or oh, because the plans backfired. That's not it. But Sullivan knows Grigson, right? So he might well have the answers. Just got to let him realise it. Treat him like a witness, a person. And he'll give you what you want. Maybe if you listen to your own advice, you wouldn't be standing there in your civvies right now. But you can't help us on this. But if you can, you'll know about it. Can you identify this man? It's Peter Grigson. Did you ask him to abduct your son? Did I what? No. Look, I knew I needed evidence that Jenny was unfit to get custody. I took video of the house. How long Billy was on his own while she was upstairs with her boyfriend. Peter helped me once when I had a work delivery. He took some film for me. Why? Well, because this is also Peter Grigson with your son, Billy, taken this morning. Got anything to say about that? 
We have a transcript of a conversation where you give Peter Griggs some details of your son's favorite toys, favorite food. You think I set this up? Mr. Sullivan, Peter Griggs is suspected of inappropriate behavior with a small boy. Also, images of child abuse were found on his home computer. Oh, God. So if you know anything that will help us find your son, you ought to tell us. I don't know. I swear. Have you got Peter's phone number? No. I never needed it. Okay. Interview suspended at 15.44. Callum reckons we should be looking at this bloke as a witness. What's this got to do with Callum? Nothing. I just spoke to him and that was his gut instinct. His instinct's usually pretty good. It's worth a shot. Thanks. So. I've told you everything I know. It's okay. But it's pretty obvious to me that you're the victim here, right? So if you can, can you tell me what you and Grigson spoke about? Divorce. Our kids. Did he mention any other families that he knew? Places that he'd visit? I don't know, something nice they'd been for a weekend. How's this gonna help? It's details, right? Yeah, names, places. Things that you just drop into conversation when you're not thinking. That my mate reckons this. Didn't talk about mates. One bloke on the rigs, that was it. But he's 500 miles away. Well, that's good. Anything else? One night in the pub, he said he was only stopping for a pint because a bloke he used to work with was back from the rigs and he had to tidy the flat. So they shared a flat together? No, he'd been stopping there. Can you remember where the flat is? You said they worked together. Can you remember where? He said he'd been in the furniture place for ten years, so maybe there. That's good. But I don't really need his name. Matt. No. Martin. But I told you he's 500 miles away. That's fantastic. OK, thanks very much. There was a Martin Harris that worked at the furniture shop that Grigson still works in. Now what's the Inverness Boyle? Yeah, Martin James Harris. Great, thanks very much. Home address, 41 Charlotte Gardens, E5. Police. Open up. Well done. Peter Grigson. I'm arresting your suspicion of abduction. You didn't have to say anything, but it may on your defence. If you do not mention my question, something you'd like to rely on in court. Anything you do, I'm never giving any evidence. Okay, boys, let's search the house. Where's Billy Sullivan, Peter? I telephoned. I was very precise. Hesker Street Market. You made that call? Yes. Well, I didn't want anything to happen to him. Yeah, that call triangulated. A call of a possible sighting at Hesker Street Market at 1.05 p.m. Officers conducted a thorough search of the area and checked CCTV. But there's no sign of you or Billy. I waited until I heard the police cars pulling up and then I let him go. I just wanted Ray to be able to show his wife how much he cares for his son, that's all. Did he ask you to do that? No, but he needed me to. These are stills of video footage found on your laptop computer. Ray asked me to watch him, so, so I took some, some photographs, some videos. OK, images SM1 to SM8 were downloaded onto your hard drive. They're pornographic images of young children, mostly boys. Can you tell me how they got onto your computer? I've never seen those before, and that, that is disgusting. Yeah, they are. OK, then, can you tell me why you were found giving your friend's son a bath? This, again. For God's sake, he was muddy. But your wife asked you to leave afterwards, and she said that you'd been having difficulties for a long time on a personal level. I don't see why that's your business. Well, because if you were realising something about yourself and it scared you, 
being confronted with it made you angry, then other relationships were going to suffer. And that must have been difficult for you. You must have really bonded with Ray. Going through divorce, fighting for his children. You really wanted to help. And then you saw Billy. And it became something else. You didn't ask for custody of your children. Why is that? You got married and you were so relieved that both your children were girls. But the feelings didn't go away, did they? I could never hurt my children. I don't know what you're talking about. It isn't me. Anything? Yeah. Right. Grigson reckons he was round the corner from Hesketh Street Market at around 105, but according to the cell site, it was about four miles away. In the Head and Grange area. He must have panicked when his name was released. I made that call as an alibi. Maybe he'd already dumped Billy. But alive or dead. Stevie? DS was returning at 17.25. We traced your phone, and at 1.05pm today, you were in the Head and Grange area, four miles from Hesketh Street Market. No comment. Where did you leave Billy? No comment. Are we going to find Billy Sullivan alive? Superintendent... Peter Grigson's clothes. Now, check out those marks. Builder's line, so it could narrow down that search for you. Leon, could be looking for a building sign. Yes, sir. I just wanted to help Ray. I took some film for him. But I couldn't... You couldn't walk. Couldn't stop looking. Sir, this area here is being developed. That's a bit more site. Go and push Grigson on him, sir. Sierra Oscar 1 from Sierra Oscar 5 2. We've got a possible location for the kid. Head and Grange, E4. Callum, I need all the help I can get. I'm on my way. know what I was doing. I wanted some space, some time to think. He was very shy and he wouldn't smile. I tried, he just kept asking for his mum. Where did you take him, Peter? DC Banks entering the room at 17.42. Peter, we know you're at a building site in Head and Grange this afternoon. Billy's four years old. A building site's a dangerous place. If he's seriously injured or dies, you will be held responsible. You could be charged with murder. Where is he? I did take him to the building site. Where exactly? It's a big place. I couldn't stop him crying. I got angry. I could see that he was scared. I'm sorry. Why scared? What did you do to him? Nothing. Nothing, I swear. Tell us where he is, Peter. Please. I don't know, OK? He ran away. Ben, there's a passageway over there. Start there, work your way towards the river. Mel, go to the north corner. Everyone else, fan out across here. Start here, work towards the river. Go with Mel. Billy? Billy? Anything? No. Gov? Sierra 
Oscar from Sierra, Oscar One. Contact Marine Support Unit for a diving team to search the river at this location. Over. Sierra Oscar One from Sierra Oscar Five Two. The divers have been notified. You'll have the boat as soon as possible. Anything? No. Sierra Oscar 1 from 148. I think I've got something. What is it? This is robot. Okay. Oh, all right, hang on. Come on. No, wait. Come on, Lenny's down. Hang on. I think I can hear something. Right, okay, we'll keep that for your eyes open. Keep everyone back. I want paramedics here when we come out. No, right, get paramedics down here. See Oscar from 860, the ambulance crew down at Head and Grange ASAP.
Where's Mel? She was right behind me. Hey, Mel. Billy. Mel! Hey, mate. What about Mel? We wait for you. Gov. Gov! What's going on? Looks like we've lost radio contact. Get Ben on the phone. Bill, I've got 795. We lost contact, sir. Permission to enter the shaft. You do not have permission to enter the shaft. It's okay. They've taken him to hospital. It's okay. If this thing doesn't pan out, it's always Civvy Street. I don't know, private detective, victim support. How about this one? The bloke that's pointing the finger at you, Gresham, he really knows what went on outside that bar, but you've got to meet him halfway. Told you so. If I bring him in, you give him five minutes. You gave me some really good advice today about listening, making someone realise the truth. Just let him talk. He'll figure it out for himself. And apologize. For pushing him, yeah. But nothing else. That's the thing with restorative justice. He needs to feel like he's had some. Okay. 
Come now. Freezing there. <clears throat> Draw my coat on. Today's match carries a health and safety warning. If they get past us, we're in trouble. Let's pick them up. That is volatile. I know my team. This is the right tactic. Good idea for us stay on the same page on this one, Smithy. You sent Stone into the crowd. This is having severe breathing difficulties. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. I know what life-threatening means.